Greetings, weary travelers. My name is Sir Petrie, and welcome back to another Farming Fridays video. Today, I am going to be doing some harvesting. That's why I'm sitting here in my harvester. Um, yeah, I, I did something a little bit funny. I, um, I planted the fields um, so that they would be grown on the day that it was raining. So, yeah, I don't know how long I have before they, yeah, before they wither, but, um, I, I did manage to save it a bit, <laughs> kind of. Um, yeah, I'm doing canola again this time, uh, because I was looking at the prices and I figured that it was going to be, uh, probably one of the best ones to do, but then, right away, um, wheat, while it was growing wheat, got, uh, a, a great demand, and I actually was considering doing wheat, but... I didn't, and so it looks like I missed out on a great demand again. Not another one. One of these days. One of these days, once I can actually start storing up some of these things, um, I'll be able to uh, sell a whole bunch and become super, super rich because of the great demand. Um, I didn't want to go that way. I wanted to go this other way. Over here. Ah. Try not to hit the tractor there. Yeah, but, um, if you saw the last video, um, I planted, uh, how many trees? Like, 20 trees in one of my fields over here, the little one that, uh, doesn't have any crops in it. That one's just gonna be for trees. I know it probably seems a little bit weird to plant trees in a field, but, um, I figured that it was probably one of the easiest areas, just kind of out in the open for when I actually cut down the trees. But, yeah, so I only, I'm kind of down to, like, three, three fields um, to to grow actual crops in because so I might actually look into buying another field that that could be good I was trying to figure out what I would need to buy um, to get going in here and I thought about corn as well um, if I did corn I could possibly I could do some silaging I could do that um, yeah, I, I could maybe do that. So let's lower this and then turn this thing on. And let's go and do some harvesting. I'm going to be taking control of this one for the most part. Um, I might hire a guy eventually to to do this. But I, I like um, I like being able to drive the, the harvesters so, and uh, <laughs> driving up and down the field. doesn't seem like it would be that interesting. And it's probably a bit boring to watch, um, but hey, it's Farming Simulator, so that's kind of what farming is. <laughs> yeah, I do try to make these videos as interesting as possible, but, like, there's basically, you plant field, and you plant crops, and you harvest crops, that's basically what this game is. Yeah, so I'm just going to be driving up and down a field. Uh, I have the third field, um... Field was a 38 or something? Yeah, it's gotta be 38. Uh, down near the bottom right there. And so I, I have to run down and do that one as well. Um, I won't be able to do this all in one go, so I'm gonna have to cut out a fair amount of this because uh, we're already like four minutes into the video and I've only just started farming. Farming? Harvesting. Yeah, that's it. Um, but with two harvesters, it does go a lot faster than it would with just one. Because um, with just one, I did like a four-field harvest one time, I think. And I'm inside of a tree. Get out of the tree, please. Thank you. There we go. Um, yeah, I think I did like four, three or four-field harvest with one harvester, and that took forever. It literally took me like all day just to make that video. <laughs> um, yeah. But, um, how full is this getting? Oh wow, it's actually not getting that, that full. I suppose like the, the wheat and barley kind of, uh, they have more, more yield, like there's more stuff in it. It's thicker. I don't know. <laughs> um, and so, like, if I had just a regular unfertilized, um, field of, like, wheat or barley, it would be about the same, I'm not entirely sure, I'm probably wrong with this, 
but it, I think it would probably be about the same as if I, um, I did a harvest with canola that's fertilized, because fertilizing things gives you like double the yield, and so I think that canola gives you like half of the yield that the other things do, but it's also worth way more. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of hard, and canola is currently going down in price. So I think that this will be my last canola harvest for um, for a little while, at least until the price goes back up. Um, kind of dramatic. It's like it's the last canola harvest. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, come on, come on. Get out of the way, tree. Get up. No, get out of the... No. Fine. Ugh. Stinking trees in my way. Um, yeah, like, if I did corn, I might be able to do some silage in, but then I need to get the, uh, Crone Big X, uh, harvester, because that harvests it and directly makes it into silage. So, I don't entirely know... Like, I'm not going to be able to afford that, it's like $350,000. And as you can see, I only have like $44,000. So, it's gonna, gonna be a while before I can get that. I might actually be able to buy a field, plant it with grass, and um... Because you can, if you, like, pick up grass with a forage wagon, you can then put it into a silo, and you're into like a silage silo and turn it into silage. So I might be doing that. You can also bale them. That might be a good thing to get into, is actually bailing. I might look into that. Um, yeah, I might look into getting a baler and a bale wrapper, because if you bale um, grass, or hay, or whatever it is, then it, um, and then wrap it, it turns it into silage, and you actually get a fair amount of money that way, and I don't think that the prices go down at all for those things over time. So I might actually get going into that, um, but we are just coming up on like, I don't know, probably about halfway through the video. So I'm going to have to uh, cut ahead in the video until I'm done at least most of this harvest, probably when I'm moving on to the next field, uh, field 38, which is down near the bottom right. It's off in that direction, over there. It's right over there, actually. It's not too, too far away. But yeah, I'll be back in a second once I'm heading over there, um, so that you don't have to watch me doing this for the next half hour, <laughs> because that's probably how long it's gonna take. Anyways, be back in one second. And I'm back now. This, uh, harvester just finished this field, uh, so I'm gonna take him over to start on the other field while this guy finishes it up on this field. Man, these things drive so slow. They only go at, like, 16 kilometers? Is this in kilometers or miles? This is miles. Um, they only go at like 16 miles, um, at whereas like the tractor goes at like 26 to 27 miles um, per hour. Per hour. <laughs> no, per second. This is like, we're like giants and these are massive trees and everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, so the field should just be over here. I'm going to just keep going straight here. No need to go onto the highway thing over there. Um, I'll just take the little back roads over here. Uh, maybe I could even cut across the grass, be a little cheating and cut across the grass. What is this little place here? It looks like a pen for, like, sheep, but it's not. Is it? Where am I? No, it's not. It's really not. Um, yeah. Uh, that, that's weird. I don't know. It's just a random little field. I suppose you could, like, mow it. It'd be, like... You could have it as, like, a grass field sort of thing. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, let's get this guy going on this field. Let's just hire him to go along here. Um, and then I think that I will go and check on... Ooh, where is he? This guy over here. Uh, how are you doing? You still got a little bit of field left. Um... Alrighty then, so I think that I'm going to cut ahead in the video again. I know, I just got back. 
Um, <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and end the video again until this field is done, and I can I can bring this guy over to the other field and finish that off. Um, be back in one more second. And I'm back again. I'm just gonna go and uh, grab this thing, this uh, tractor and tipper, so that I can go and empty out this uh, harvester over here. Uh, maybe not drive across the field. Maybe be proper and drive on the roads, please. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna empty this guy out so, because he's like 75% uh, full or something like that. Um, and then I'm going to grab the harvester, take him over to the other field. Um, and the other guy might actually just about be ready to, uh, to, uh, be emptied there. And so, wait for this, this tank, act, this harvester actually holds quite a lot of grain in it, doesn't it? Look at that grain, just about making it into the, <laughs> into the tipper. Um, yeah, alright, so, come on, come on, there you go. So now let's put the pipe in and take this thing off. Wait, it feels like this thing goes faster, but didn't, the other one went at 16 miles and this one goes at 13. But this one just feels faster. And higher that, um, and let's, yeah, he's just about to be, you're just about ready to be emptied, so I'm gonna grab this guy, put the, yeah, cover on so that the grain doesn't fly out while I'm driving down the road. Uh, no, no, if you stop. Oh, I'm done. Don't stop. Uh, just make me drive across the crops, will you? No! Whoa! Crazy. When you see a tipper approach, you're supposed to, like, stop and slow down. Thank you. There. Now you stop. Now you stop. You almost ran me into the fence back over there. How dare you? I might have to. Might have to find a new guy for this job. I, you know, I don't think that this guy is going to be around here much longer. Um, <laughs> try to run me into a fence. So let's just wait until this is all emptied up. I wonder if in um, Farming Simulator 2017 or 17, I think it's just called, um, if they'll make it so that it'll damage the crops when you drive over them. Because like that, I was just totally driving right over all the crops, and it just didn't do anything. I wonder if in Farming Simulator 17, they'll change that so that it does actually do something. I hope that they do. That would be really cool. Um, I really hope that I'll be able to to um, play Farming Simulator 20, 2017. I keep saying 2017. Farming Simulator 17. Um, I don't know how long after it comes out I'll be able to get it. Um, or if I'll be able to get it at all, really. And I don't know, like, it'd be kind of cool if you could, like, transfer this world over onto the other one. Um, but you can't do that. So, I don't, I'd have to, like, start all over again, and I'm just getting going now in this one. Like, I'm just starting to make a good profit. Um, I'm still not rich or anything like that, and so I have no idea what I would do about that. Like, it, I think that I would do much better uh, money-wise and just productivity-wise on here if I did uh, videos on this more than, uh, more than once a week. But, um, looking at the time, I just realized that I've actually gone a bit over time. So, um, I'm unfortunately going to have to end this episode here. Um, hopefully you did enjoy. If you, uh, if you did, please leave a like, and if you wish to see more videos like this, um, then don't forget to subscribe. My name is Sir Petrie. Farewell.